Now for the last, what, seven weeks or whatever the heck it's been, we've been talking about leadership. We've been talking about responsibility, about communication, about assessing temperament, about all the things that a good leader must know before they can go out and actually use the information. If you came in with a dog, you have a disadvantage because you're already living with the reflection and you're now playing catch up. If you're waiting to get a dog, these are the things that you need to know before you get the dog. You notice an empty lead here. Two empty leads. Oh yeah. I have a nine month old German Shepherd. She was given up. Um, woman called me. We've got we've got her, we bought her from a pet store. I mean, expensive. Pet stores get you. Impulse. Expensive dog, took her home, loved her. All the shops, all the everything, good food, beautiful crate. By the time she was four months old, she was so wild. The kids were afraid to come out of their bedrooms. The dog lived in the crate, or it was tied outside. Oh, poor dog. Nonsense. They didn't teach the dog a thing. How would the dog know how to behave? The fact that they didn't do anything says we have a blank slate. So just exactly like if we had a puppy, we've got a dog here that knows nothing. This is a perfect opportunity for us to teach it exactly what we want it to know right from the start. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use the skills that we've been talking about and you're going to see magic. Because truthfully it is manners and minutes. It's the leader that needs to know what they're doing before it's manners and minutes. And that's why you have trouble with a dog. is because you didn't exactly know what to do when you first got the dog. So he came into your company as a new employee. You didn't know what you, he was supposed to do, so therefore there were glitches. As that dog moves in, he's a new hire. He's cute. Oh well. If he doesn't do the job, he's not loyal to the company. That's exactly what I told you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go get the little hairy woman, and I'll be right back. Oh, boy, she loves everybody. Come on. Woo! Now, we've had her for three weeks, and not done really, I mean, we had her out one time just to make sure she understood and she was safe. But I've done nothing with her. I've been saving her for this day. Easy. 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 Good, easy. Easy. Does that act like a 12 week old puppy? Yeah. Good. Hi. Good dog. Now what's happening is she's learning that the line means limits. With the cue bone on there, she's backing off the pressure. Good girl. Easy. Good job. Easy. Good. Easy. Easy. Good. Hi. What a good easy. She doesn't know anything. Easy. I know, you're very cute. Now she's walking on a lead, I'm just not holding it. Because the rule is, if I have to struggle, I'm not in charge. Good girl, McNally. Good job. Easy. Hey, McNally. 
Good girl, easy. Oh, good, easy, easy. Easy. That's a puppy. I don't care how old she is, if she hasn't gone through kindergarten, she doesn't know what they learned in kindergarten. Easy. Hi. Easy. 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 You can see what normal is jumping all over me. I'm just gonna jump on me. Easy. Easy. Good, easy. Easy, easy. Good, easy. Oh, what a good job. Good, easy. Behavior modification is you don't get what you want until you do what I want. Easy. Hey, McMillan. Come here, honey. Hey, baby girl. No, I can't give her a command. Easy. Come here, McNally. Hi. Easy. Hey. Easy. Good, easy. Three repetitions, she understands that I will not pet her until she sits and behaves herself. From the beginning. Good. Hey, you. Good dog. Come on, baby girl. Good girl. She's not been socialized. She lived in a crate and tied so she could hide under the fence when people went by. Or hide under the porch. Easy. Good, easy. I got there and I said, all she needs is training. We just don't really have time. Okie dokie. Good, easy. Oh no, I don't pet dogs at noodle. Come on. Come on. That's it, easy. Oh, look at you. What a good, easy girl. Good, easy. She just asked me a question. You know what it was? Do I have to sit? No, she doesn't have to sit. She just has to be easy. Easy is an attitude, not a position. I don't care if she sits. We're walking where there's mud. I don't want her to sit. I want her to be easy. Come here, McNally. Easy. Good, easy. What a good puppy. Look at you. What an excellent dog. Now, I have control with no effort. Nothing. I just withheld what she wants. Now, I didn't ignore it. I withheld it. Huh? This is what makes sense to dogs. Easy. Hey, you. Hi. Oh, you're gonna lay down. What a good girl. <laughs> she would like nothing better than somebody grab a hold of her and struggle with her and try to hold her. When I went into their home, I put the half itcher on her belly because she was just everywhere. And she went, yike, and threw herself all over. She never had a correction. They took her to a place for training that tried to get her to pay attention with food. A dog that's not been socialized, what does she care about their food? Hi. I know. Look at how cute you are. Training has to be what makes sense to the dog, not according to some self-proclaimed expert. Dogs were born trained. The only responsibility we have is communication. Hi. Good, easy. Easy. Now she's a foreigner. Let's speak English. She's trying to figure out what I'm talking about. She, know, she kind of has an idea what the word means, but she doesn't really because I praised her when she sat, and I praised her when she laid down. I petted her when she was calm. What What does easy mean? She's not quite sure. Does she know her name? Well, that's all she knows. I mean, some don't. Well, it really, if this were a rescue dog from the pound, it wouldn't matter. We'd put a new name. Sometimes the best thing you can do is change the dog's name. 
because if the name had become McNally, 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 <laughs> which may very well have been the case, okay, the name may not be all that pleasant. And if the name was used as a command, it's not a pleasure. Dale, 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 Dale. Weird, isn't she? Good dog. So too many people just assume when you say the name, the dog is supposed to read your mind. Hi, you. Three words. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Easy. Good dog. This dog has never walked on a lead before. Easy. Good. You let that center line do the work. Good. Easy. McNally, come on. Oh, good girl. Easy. I don't want her next to me. I don't want her to heal, heal, heal. I want her to be out here tracking. I want her to be out here herding sheep. I want her to be out here. If I walk out to take the garbage out at midnight, I want her out there ahead of me. Come on, babe. Good dog. What an excellent dog you are. Come on. Good. McNally, come on. Excellent dog. Good job. Wait. Wait. Okay, anybody who wants to walk up and pet her. Wait. Right now. Wait. You wait. Wait. Good. Wait. Good. Wait. You wait. Good. Wait. Wait. Good. Wait. Good. Easy. Good job. Back the audience. Easy. Easy. Good. Easy. You easy. Good. Easy. Good. Easy. Man, now no problem. Good, easy. Now as she sits there, I can let go of some of the pressure. She's doing it now on her own. Excellent, Doug. Okay, that's enough. Wait. You wait and you'll be easy. Stacy. I don't care if they went away. I told you to wait. Easy. Stacy, wait. Hey, you wait. Wait. Now, she was worried she piddled. Good. That's not because she had to go to the bathroom. That's submission. Wait. Come on, big girl. That's not her being bad. That's her saying, I don't want to argue with you. It's probably pretty obvious she's gotten in trouble with that before. So what do people do? Come down on them because they squat. Well, it's her way of saying, I don't want to challenge you in any way there is. Good dog. Easy. Come on, down. Easy. Wait. Okay, I need kids. Run up. Wait. Easy. Pat. Good wait. Oh, good wait. Good wait. Good easy. Good job. Okay, run away. Run. 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 Now, I want Evelyn to run. Good. Wait. She waits till I touch her. Good. Okay. We hold her head up so we can't be in the submissive position. I don't want a submissive dog. I don't want a dog that noodles around when people pet it. That's why Kate is not getting any of it. Good dog. Good wait. You see the understanding coming into her eyes? Good easy. Wait. Hey. Good wait. Okay, kids. Easy. Easy. Oh, good easy. Good wait. Now you remember up until now she had two kids that she harassed. 
she has to understand that those were the only two kids in the world that she harassed, not anybody else. If she's going to be useful, she cannot continue the habits that were established in that home. Okay, sit right down on the floor. Now, everybody hug her. You all love dogs, right? Oh, good, easy, McNally. Good, easy. If she's going to be a reading dog, this is exactly what it's got to look like. Good, easy. Okay, run away. You wait, McNally. She made the mistake of breaking the weight one time. Dumb dog, right? Wait. Come on, babe. We gotta be able to go both directions, don't we? Good job. Good job. Oh, what a good girl. What an excellent dog. Come on, babe. I can't get rid of her now. Now, when we start to see her not need that center line, she's respectful of the line. That's all that means. Hey, you. Hi. Wait. Hey. Wait. Good wait. Come on. We have control at a distance. Come on, babe. Good, come on. Oh, good girl. Easy. Hey, easy. Good job. Oh, look at you. Wait. Hey, wait. Wait. Now, it's only when the dog has been started incorrectly that we have to do any of the tough stuff. This is a blank slate. This is a dog that was given up after spending $1,500 for her, all the vet care, feeding her for six months, eight months. Too much trouble. Good dog. Come on. Good job. Good. Now we start out because of where she's going to end up to be, possibly. I mean, we start every dog like a service dog. Okay? So that doesn't mean they're guaranteed to be a service dog. It means they're started, and however their potential goes, that's what happens. But they can do a smattering of a lot of different things. If this dog is a service dog, she better not be trying to get to other people. Good dog. So we're going to do a little accountability now. Good job. Did you think easy? Good. I'm going to shorten the lead, and that's going to be a little difficult because. We've been working at a distance. But that's more important anyway. Come on, babe. Good. Oh, you forgot me. What a shame. Good. Good job. Think about it. Good. So I'm not correcting her for seeing people. I'm correcting her because she loses attention on me. Excellent dog. Look at you. Oh, what a good dog. All these dogs, all these people are potential playmates and petters. Good dog. No way. You don't take a child out in the community and let it hug every person they meet. That'd be silly, wouldn't it? Dangerous. Good dog. Yet somehow we think of it as acceptable with our, our dog. Me pack leader. You dog. Hey. Good. Now, if that were a mass murderer right there, I'm safe. If that were a little child, she's safe. 
But Nelly, come on. Excellent choice. Good. Wait. Very nice job. We forget how, how easy training really, really, really is. It's kind of like the Bible. That much of it tells you what you should do. This much of it tells you what you have to do if you mess up. Okay, well, it's kind of like training. The work is when it's messed up. This is why rescue is such a problem in our country. You're not dealing with easy. Hey, easy. You're dealing with the softest hearted people dealing with the toughest dogs. I wrote a thing on the internet the other day. Easy. And I never write anything just nice. It's always got something. So I wrote about one of the dogs we're working on. He was a show dog who was purchased by an older couple, and just like Harry, they didn't know what to do with it. I mean, you were here, so you got help, but they had no clue what to do with it. So I wrote on there, he had come here, the breeder cared enough to fly that dog all the way up here from Arizona. And, or no, he drove up here, I guess. And then um, paid for him to be trained, came back to see him and decided he didn't have what it takes to work that dog. So he gave the dog up. Now that's a breeder that cares about his dogs. So I wrote about, um, I was very, you know, I admired him a lot for making that decision. And one of the breeders wrote to me and said, well, he's from this dog and his parents did this and He's almost a champion, and his bloodlines are blah, 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 blah. And I said, it doesn't matter when he's rescued. And I said to her, and, she, and it's very common because people get into a breed because they love the breed. All the things about the breed. Come on. Wait. Good dog. Um, the problem with it is they usually do all those things with their first dog. And then they remember all the fun they had with them. But they don't do one thing with a second one or third or fourth or tenth. They coast on the memories. Huh, Julia? Can't coast on memories. Because what happens in breeder dogs is they get used to not having close attention. Then when they go into a home or Nice people want to have this their constant companion. The dog truly doesn't know what to do. Good girl. I must be boring. <laughs> well, pet stores, are, that's attachment disorder. The dog fails to bond. And you have a dog that doesn't care whether he pleases you or not. Then you have the opposite side of the scale, pet stores. They get handled by everybody, but nobody is a permanent fixture in their life. They don't bond to anybody either. Everybody's equal, including you. When we were working with foster kids, we had a, a little girl that had come from Russia. She had attachment disorder. She valued everybody the same. The woman, or the family she lived with, she didn't value them any more than anybody else. There's never been a permanent person in their life. So in order to form a good attachment, I put them in the kennel, he's been in, or she's been in it three weeks. She's had nothing except food. She's getting next to a couple nice dogs, so there's a lot of things that go on. But she's had nothing special. First time she's been out of this kennel, outside of the assessment that I did, because I want to make sure she was safe, because I would have put her down before. But anyway, she is so thrilled to be the chosen one that got to come. She's not taking this for granted. She's thankful that somebody chose 
to focus on her. And she'll go back in there tonight and she'll say, wow, that was fun. Wow. I was able to earn praise. Somebody thinks I'm wonderful. 